What's up guys, Eddie Harvey with today's Breaking Bad review. Coming from my kitchen today, got a little better lighting. Uh, you know, so I thought I'd just go ahead and knock this out for you guys here in the kitchen. First of all, happy Labor Day to you guys, for anyone who's working a job, uh, who's made sacrifices for our country and things of that sort. Happy Labor Day, enjoy your day off tomorrow. All right, um, getting to this review, man, this episode was insane. Another great episode of Breaking Bad. So this was called Rabbit Dog. It was pretty cool with all the connotations and, you know, the, the allegory, whatever. The, I'll get to that in a minute. But anyway, here's the review. Uh, it starts off, obviously, with Walt uh, going into the house, picking up from where I left off last week with Jesse with the gas tank. He goes in and, you know, he jumps his, the back gate, his usual mode of breaking into his house, and he's all, uh, you know, sniper spy mode going in the house, and he scours the house searching each and every room room by room, and Jesse's nowhere to be found, right? So, you know, Walt being Walt, obviously he gets a cleaning crew there to clean the carpet, uh, gets someone to fix the door, same keys, this guy's a genius, a mindset, so he's trying to keep everything symmetrical, keep it the same as it was. So, <laughs> he's trying to get the guys to get all of the gasoline out of the carpet, and they can't, you know, because he's like, you know, obviously, um, his wife, she's, uh, Skyler's going to pick up on something, so it boils down to, you know, the guys are like, dude, it doesn't matter how much, how much money you're going to pay us. I don't know where this smell is going on. The carpet has to be ripped and freaking replaced. So Walt goes into brainiac mode. He's thinking super duper hard. So what's his solution? This guy goes, he, he always is creating something, right? He goes and, uh, and make a long story short, he goes, takes the gasoline can <laughs> out of the house and goes to the back and uh, drenches his clothes in gasoline. Then he takes the gasoline can, puts it in his garbage, takes it out, puts it in the neighbor's garbage, sneaks over there. Here he is, this cold-hearted, cold-blooded killer, but at the same time, he's afraid to put a, a, a gas can in his neighbor's garbage. So he takes it back out of their garbage because he comes up with the bright idea, puts gasoline all on his car. So he, when, when Junior and Skyler and all of them get home, he concocts this freaking story of that there was a malfunction at the gas pump. A gas spewed all over him and got in the car. He came in the house and dropped his clothes on the floor and went to the shower or whatever. So Junior buys it, but Junior thinks he's lying and think Walt has had another, you know, passed out because of his cancer coming back. But I already knew he's told so many of these freaking stories throughout the episodes of all the years of the episodes that, okay, we can see right through him because we know what's going on, but Skylar sees right through it. And, you know, she goes along with it for Junior's sake. But anyway, he tells them, look, let's get out of here. Let's go to a hotel. So they go to one of the best hotels in New Mexico. And, you know, they're at the hotel and he goes out and he talks to, uh, <laughs> he talks to, um, to, to Saul and he has them looking for, looking all over the place, has his goons looking for Jesse. So, um, he asks, you know, Saul, you know, he's telling me he can't find whatever Saul's going to tell him like, Hey man, you know, maybe this needs to be an old yellow situation. <laughs> Cause he's telling them, you know, old yellow, if anybody's seen the movie, old yellow is one of my granddad's favorite movie. He used to cry every freaking time he watched this movie, but old yellow you know, he had a little saying, oh, Yellow just saved your life. Old Yellow was the famous mutt dog. Looked like Golden Retriever mixed with whatever lab or something. I don't know. But anyway, he told him maybe it's an old Yellow situation, how he was the most faithful dog. But he got bit, got rabies, and they had to put him down. So he's standing like, look, maybe Jesse's like, oh, Yellow, it's time to put him down. And Walt's like, what? You know, because Walt cares for Jesse and, you know, always is trying to treat him like the, you know, the stepchild of where he's trying to take care of him and this and that. You know, it's almost like he's his bastard son, in a sense. That's what I get from him. But he tells Saul, look, man, screw that idea. Don't even think of that. You know, we're not putting Jesse down. No, he, he changed his mind. I just need to talk to him to get in his head and, you know, make things better. So he's like, screw that idea, whatever. So he goes back into the hotel. Skyler's all over it. She's like, dude. So, you know, he, he comes with another freaking story. Oh, man. Oh, I got to the ice machine. I couldn't scan my card in to get ice. And Skyler's like, dude, look. Yeah, you might have that shit might have worked on Junior, but let me know. Was tell me the truth. What's going on? I saw you out there talking to to freaking Saul. So what's happening? And he's like, Oh, are you spying on me? This and that. And she's like, Yeah, I want to know what's going on. Is our family in jeopardy? So he pretty much tells her uh, what happens with Jesse. He didn't tell her that he poisoned Brock, but he said he did something. And you know, Jesse put gasoline on the house, and you know, and he's trying to defend. Well, Jesse changed his mind. He's not like that. He's never hurt anybody. Not telling her that not only did he kill uh, uh, the, uh, the freaking scientist dude, um, but he also killed uh, one of those uh, Mexi Mexican uh, mafia the cartel dudes. So he's killed a couple of people. He's not telling her that. But 
I don't even know what no Jesse killed the guy over there. But um here uh, uh yeah he does, he was with him. But here's what boils down to. Um where am I at? Yeah, so he he's like, no, he's never hurt anybody. And Skyler's like, look, hell with that. He's coming out of our family and told us it's gonna happen. You need to take care of this wall. Screw that, it has to get done. You need to take care of this. So she pretty much lets him know that, you know, uh he needs to put Jesse down. Like, look, that has to be squared away. So I was like, oh, I'll take care of it, blah, 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 blah. You know, he wants to talk. He wants to talk. So now they fast forward. They show Jesse, go back to seeing the Jesse getting ready to burn the house down. And guess what? He was going to burn the freaking house down until Hank comes in, pulls the gun on him. You know, and it's like, look, stop what you're doing. Pretty much, you know, pretty much tells him, like, look, I don't want to kill you. We can get them together. You know, Jesse's telling him that freaking Mr. White. Is the freaking devil, you know, all of this stuff. And, uh, you know, he's telling him he's, he's a monster, you know, what he did to uh, Brock and all that. And he's like, look, let's get them together. So Jesse ends up at Hank's house. He's sleeping off whatever because he's high as hell off of meth or whatever. And uh, he's sleeping it off there. And uh, <laughs> he has, uh, man, I can never remember Hank's wife's freaking name. Oh, my gosh. All the episodes I've seen, I can never remember her name. Uh, but anyway, she loves the purple. I can't think of that. But he has his wife has all her bags packed at the door, and um, tells her, you know, he needs to go with some things, whatever. And, and pretty much boils down to telling him like this is the safest place for this guy to be. We have a house guest, and find out that it's Pinkman, and you know, he can't take him to down to the you know DEA. He can't take him here and there because he got to put him in the system. And she goes, "Is this gonna hurt Walt?" And he's like, "Yes, it's really gonna hurt Walt." She's like, "Okay, good. He can stay, and I'm staying." So. You know, it's like they're all, man, ready to get Walt, uh, this and that. So, you know, after Jesse wakes up the next day, uh, uh, obviously, um, oh, man, Hank, uh, Hank, his wife, I can't even think of her name. It's crazy. Hank, his wife, and then uh, his partner, uh, you know, the, whatever the dude, the other guy, they're there, and they got the camera set up, and pretty much uh, Jesse spills the beans. Jesse lets it all out. And tells everything. Obviously, got it on camera, but you know, still doesn't prove anything. So he sets it up because he gets another call from Walt. Walt wants to meet, and he's like, "Look, let's go ahead and meet him." You know, he's sitting there telling, "Like, dude, you guys freaking understand? This guy is the freaking devil." You know, he's like, "He's smarter than you. Everything you think is gonna go, it goes the opposite way." He's lucky, this and that. He's always got a plan. So, you know, but they're like, "Look, he cares for you. He's doing this and that, doing this and that." So they pretty much convincing him to go. He goes to take the bathroom break. You know, freaking the devil comes out and Hank. Hank's all about getting walked by any means necessary because he doesn't give a freak about Jesse either. He like, look, if he is setting him up, so what? Jesse Pinkman dies. We get it on camera. Bada bing, bada boom. He feels he's killing two birds with one stone because, you know, Pinkman is a, you know, junkie, meth head, killer, all of that stuff together. So he's like, whatever. He's just trying to get Hank. I mean, he's just trying to get walked. And it doesn't matter by any means necessary. He's going to get it done. All right. So. Um, so they go to the place, so, so Jesse goes to meet, um, Walt, and he's walking up, you know, he's going into his, he's spazzing out already, he's seen all these people, because he, you know, doesn't know if, hey, uh, Walt has a hitman or anything, whatever, and he's walking up, and see this guy turning sideways, and he's thinking how, the proximity, the guy's like right here, and, and Walt's like 10 feet away from the guy, he's thinking Walt is about to try to set him up to kill him. So he spots this, and he runs to the payphone, calls him, and is like, nice try, asshole, and, you know, now he's got his mind working, and he's going to give him another way because he felt like now he just tried to put a hit out on him. But at the same time, uh, and then he leaves, so he blows the whole thing of them trying to get Walt on tape and everything, trying to explain himself. And, you know, Hank gets all pissed off and picks Jesse up and tells him, like, what the hell are you doing? Because he's like, look, I got a better way. We're going to give him another way. So now this is putting some other things into motion, which I knew was going to come back to this. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Because Walt is all... You know, you know, he gets the message from Jesse. Now he's freaking out. He gets up, walks away. The guy Jesse thought was a hitman for Walt was pretty much a guy waiting for his little girls. So now, had he met with him, it would be a little different story. But now, Walt's mind is racing because he's like, Jesse's like, he's coming after him. He's going to hit him where it hurts most. So he's like, all right. So for Walt, now he's like, okay, maybe Saul is right. It's time to put this rabbit dog down. It's time to put old Yeller down. Okay, so what does he do? What I figured he was going to do, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, because they showed Todd and his boys, his uncle and all of his crew at the beginning of the last episode, 
he, he gets in the car, he's freaking out now. He puts a call in to Todd and tells him he might have another job for his own. Bam! That's how the show ends. So obviously, he's looking at Jesse's going to be the next target. He's going to get Jesse before Jesse gets him because Jesse just blatantly threatened him. He tried to talk, he tried to do everything possible, and now it's like, okay, he's old yellow, he was faithful, and now he's biting, he's trying to take me out. I got to put this dog down before it hurts me or hurts my family. And that's how the episode ended, people. Great, phenomenal episode. If you didn't get a chance to watch it, check it out. You know, obviously, I can only say so much uh, and give you only so much in 10, 11 minutes, but you got to see it. It's well worth watching. It's building up, building up, building up. This is what, episode five, I think? I think it was episode five. So we got three episodes left, and then that's it for Breaking Bad. So obviously, some shit that's about to hit the fan in these next few episodes is going to get freaking out of control. So, obviously going to fast forward some months or something, probably when it comes to episode 7 and 8. So, episode 6, I think next week's episode is really going to get crazy. It only, give you, it only gave us a little bit in the preview, not too much to really go off of, meaning it's probably going to be a really explosive episode. So, hope you guys enjoy my Breaking Bad rabbit dog review. I call it Old Yeller versus the Devil. So, that's why I look at the Devil being not only Walt, but Hank as well. So, uh, guys, hope you enjoyed my review. Listen, as always, guys. I love making reviews for you guys. This is just the beginning of a lot of reviews to come. And guess what, guys? I make money doing this, and you can do the same as well. If you want to find out how, I, may, I utilize a simple three-step system. Click the video, click the link below this video, and it'll take you to a free video where I use a three-step system to take myself from working uh, full-time as a third-shift emergency driver to now working from the comfort of my home, making videos, uh, making money, and taking care of my family, guys. I did it. You can do it, too, if you, only if you're interested to make some additional money. If not, guys, hope you enjoyed my review, and I'll see you guys next week. Take care.